A very exciting project that we are participating at the Chair of Cybersecurity and Applied Cryptography is a European 2020 Marie Curie Initial Training Network called Trespass ETN that focuses on training totally 14 doctoral students about secure and privacy preserving biometrics. Trespass ETN is a consortium of seven universities supported by seven industrial entities located in France, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Spain and Belgium, including the University of St. Gallen, KU Leuven, Uricom and the University of Groningen. The project brings together computer scientists as well as lawyers to study how to safeguard biometric information and what are the privacy implications of using biometrics. As part of the Trespass ETN project with my group, we are working on guaranteeing privacy preservation in the biometric authentication process. Biometric authentication is a quick, accurate and user-friendly tool that offers an efficient and reliable solution in multiple access control systems. Common biometric threads used nowadays for authentication are voice, fingerprints and iris scans. In all cases, the biometric threat is a distinctive characteristic that is measurable and identifies almost uniquely each individual. A typical example of biometric authentication systems is access control systems equipped with sensors, for instance for iris or fingerprint scans. In this case, the sensor captures the biometric template of the person that requests access, while the access is granted only after the person has been identified as an authorized user of the system. A nice example of an access control authentication system based on biometrics exists at Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam for frequent travelers that can pass the passport border control faster. One of the main advantages of using biometrics is that we do not need to memorize complicated passwords or carry tokens with us, since biometrics cannot be forgotten or lost. For biometric authentication, however, a successful attack can have severe implications in the user's lives and privacy. Unlike uh, passwords or tokens, biometric credentials are harder to keep uh, secret or hidden and stolen biometrics cannot be revoked easily. Thus, the risk of them being compromised is high and may lead to identity theft, tracking individuals and uh, profiling. In addition, stolen biometric uh, templates can be used to learn sensitive information about users, for example, medical diseases, their race, etc. A natural way to protect uh, the, the privacy of uh, biometric templates is to encrypt them. But for employing uh, standard encryption methods, uh, make, this makes the comparison between fresh and stored biometric templates very challenging. Uh, more precisely, in practice, biometric templates are inherently noisy. This means that there is a natural variability of biometric credentials. For example, two scans of the same fingerprint can differ because of the variance in finger pressure, orientation, dirt or sweat that exists on my fingerprint. Uh, with my group, we design uh, cryptographic protocols and cryptographic primitives to make sure that the authentication process is accurate while the biometric information remains private and confidential, hidden from untrusted servers and service providers. Being part of this project allows us to create a strong collaboration network with other top universities and industrial partners working in the field of security and privacy issues in biometrics. For instance, the trained doctoral students have the opportunity to spend short research visits in some of the other involved universities and industrial partners and this can be a very positive experience and help them to increase their network. Marie Curie ITN projects are very competitive and only about 10% of the submitted proposals are funded. 
Uh, of course, with all the advantages of an EU project, there are also some uh, administrative tasks, although the main burden of them is usually taken by the coordinator of the project, and in this case, uh, this is Euricom. Uh, when being involved in such projects, it is important to take advantage of the networking opportunities and try not to be overwhelmed or disappointed by the administrative tasks that are often part of this process. Another important advantage of European projects is that if you have to move to a university in another country, usually it is possible to transfer the project with you, while for national projects this is not the case. Mm -hmm.